John, how many twins do I have? I only feel one. <laughs> oh, three! Oh! Look at me! <laughs> Reflections. Because you know what? This week is about reflections! Hello and welcome to the fourth week of Project 40 Collective's um, monthly takeover. This is Theater Talks! of the whole entire process and what I've learned as I've been going through this. I'm bringing a sexy freak. Yeah. Mm. All of the boys don't know how to act. Yeah. yeah. I actually started this back in 2015 because I had an independent study um, based on Asian Canadian theater and there I was able to do my initial research and well, I got into a conversation with one of the folks at P40 and they were like, Hey, let's talk about that. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Bring it to the chorus. In the beginning of my independent project, I really didn't have, I had no idea where I was going to start. But I knew that in the spring season of 2015, I went up to a professor named Barry Freeman and I was like, Barry, I want to work with you. In other words, I want to know what it means to look at diversity in theater. What does it mean to have equity be part of the conversation? And I really thought that this process was going to be surgical. And like in my first week, I was describing that project and how, uh, about that process. And for the most part, it wasn't surgical. Um, I was talking to a lot of people like David Yi, Nina Lee Aquino, Marjorie Chan, my colleagues and peers, and <sighs> let's just say I'm more confused than I had anticipated to be. And I was going through this process of, okay, how do I process this sense of being lost? Well, when you're lost, what do you do? You figure out where you are now, and then where you want to go, and then find a path to get to where you want to be. That's what I did. I started off as, who am I? So we started with identity and who am I? And I discussed about my background, the people around me, what I've observed, who are we as Asian Canadian artists, and what is ACT? With that, I looked at the history, and there are materials for you guys to go through that um, if you just jumped into this week. And then I asked a question, so where do we go from here? And where do you want to be? What questions I started off with really helped with the path finding. So point B was sustainable theater communities. Um, what does it mean to celebrate uh, diversity and inclusion? And that's, those were the two main topics I wanted to focus on. And so throughout week one, two, and three, I was talking to a bunch of folks and they gave very different answers. Like Inns Choi was talking about a more um, logical way of communities funding each other through the government or supporting one another by going to shows or creating your own shows or um, finding work for yourself. Instead of waiting and yelling into the injustices that we see, we make the work and talk about it and we make create that demand for ourselves. And then Marjorie Chan talks about actually doing a more community-based type of concept where we do meet up with other people of different narratives and come together to 
celebrate one another and create a demand to be like, we need more work of this. And Nina Lee Aquino was talking about how she wanted to see people from various walks of life to do more collabor collaborative work, like how Chloe Hung has been doing. And we see that a lot of people of color start doing old English work or contemporary work that are written by white people and how we have non-POCs doing POC playwrights work and just to see all these various dynamics come in to make a really great production. Seeing that happen is a very cool process and throughout this whole entire process I was working on four shows, full-time school, so I was very overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, know. can you imagine me having a goatee though? Like, that would be so amazing. Like, look at this. What I'm trying to say is that there was no definite answer, and I don't, I don't think there will ever be a definite answer. But what we can do is short-term goal setting and work towards that. Because as long as you're goal setting and you're working to meet those goals, you're continuously growing either as a person or as a community and with those steps that we reach and those goals that we are successful in we can celebrate that together and learn from each other and if we fail we learn how to grow from those failures as mentioned in week three my brother used to sing that bloody song all the damn time. For the most part, in terms of information gathering, I had Joshua um, Francis come in and help me on days that he was free, and then there are times when friends would send in articles like, hey Grace, read this, and I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. Then take notes, and I would have this huge binder full of information, and I had to sift through that and be like, okay, for this video, what do I want to talk about? And for this this um, blurb to go with the video, what do I want to do with that? And to kind of put it through multiple filters to cater the information to you guys, because this is a conversation I would really love to have with you guys or with you guys to other people. I think it's just a process of education and knowing what to talk about, really. Fam, let me tell you, there's nothing else to do. Just love you and do you. <laughs> I, I mean, this is, this is really bad. I, I'm not meant to be a rapper. I ain't no rapper, okay? Okay. And then we'll ha we would have days where we would shoot videos and do interviews. Sometimes we would record it and then write a transcript and then add those transcripts into the written part portions. And then I just want to do a quick shout out to John and John will come in. So John has been working really hard with editing the videos and we want to say thanks to Arnold because we're using his camera. Arnold's great. You should check out his work. And you should check out Josh's work too because he's a poet and he's a short story writer and all of the nooks and crannies of a writer. And John is always great with making videos and you can find those on YouTube. Um, all of the descriptions will be in links and stuff in the blurb for this week. And for Project 40, they have been super patient with me as I'm asking thousands of questions. And they were giving me feedback on what worked well, what didn't work well, what kind of writing style I should be adopting. I guess my final reflection for this video is it's okay to not know where you're going or what you're doing or what kind of work you're going to do in the future. As long as you're pursuing to grow as an artist, um, as a person, and having that spirit of wanting to constantly learn and to celebrate is always a great attitude to have. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't know what you're doing, as long as you have a tribe of people that you can go back to, to recuperate, to find rest in, is always important. For me, that's my family, because I'm always saying, like, to my family who has given me everything and asked nothing in return, that's really what they've been doing for me. And when I feel like I'm not a great artist, 
I don't actually ever feel like a great artist. I struggle a lot with my identity and like how I feel as a person. Because sometimes I don't feel accomplished a lot. Um, these are the people that come to you and speak truth into your life and lots of love. And as David, he would always say, you get used to being angry, but it's what you do with that anger that would probably make the difference. And yeah. So don't lose yourself. And I hope that this week, what this week is really interesting, but I hope that this whole entire journey has been great for you guys. You can only do so much in um, like words or videos because this is a rambling video now. <laughs> but I would love to talk to you guys if you ever find me or um, if you are ever interested in another artist's work. Support them, buy their music, buy their paintings, go to their shows, um, go to the events that they have, and get into that dialogue and see what you can learn from it, from that interaction. For the next month, I don't know who it's going to be, but I'm going to be passing on the torch to you and you're going to be great. And I look forward to all of the Project 40s that come monthly takeovers. It's been really great so far. Stay tuned for their work! And this is my last video and I'm signing off. I'll see y'all later. Oh wait! I forgot! So this video is also thanks to the equity and diversity community from UTSC and for Project 40 for giving me this great opportunity and I'm gonna start crying! <laughs> no! And I want to thank my creative team for doing this wonderful project with me and putting up with my craziness and I know all y'all are busy too so sending lots of love to you guys and I want to thank my family <laughs> because y'all great home, home slice, fam, jam, whatever you want to call it but Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye!